This house is situated uh, on the shores of a beautiful lake in Ontario. It's uh, certainly more of a lake house than a cottage. Easily accessible to the city, but they spend most of their time up here. The architecture and the interior architecture are modern contemporary. Very clean and simple. There's a relatively limited palette. And then we livened it up and gave it a bit of personality through the decor, through the furnishings. I think if you are going to a cottage, you might want a bit more of a holiday flavor. But if it's somewhere where you're living, it also wants to be something that you feel comfortable in on a daily basis. As you approach the house, you have this low-slung architecture with this wonderful roof line. And the entry is this massive glazing that looks through to the lake, through the main living space. When you enter the foyer, it's connected to a long hall with an angled roof. And it really is this artery that everything is planned off of. We've incorporated custom wall covering murals at the entry. The husband is quite a car fanatic. And one thing about this house is it's a house for entertaining. There's nothing precious about the house. So rather than doing a marble, we chose a porcelain because it's indestructible. I kind of love this particular built-in combination of functions and purposes. We have our entryway console, mirror, display, and then you come around into the main living space and we have um, a bar cabinet which opens up and it's all connected. This is one of those little gems. You come through into this open concept living space, which really was defined by the roof lines that the architect had envisioned to create something low slung. Sometimes you're designing a home and the kitchen wants to be a bit hidden from view. And then other times it becomes the entertainment hub. In this particular case, it was the feature. The kitchen has a bake station. The client is a big baker. I believe she used to do catering. So we lowered the counters and we have all of our drawers with our sugars and different flowers and whatnot. The great thing about that bake station is the window. You get a lot of natural light. There's a ledge at just the right height so that you can put your iPad, look at your recipe. And we always have this complaint about these KitchenAid mixers because they're so wonderful, but they're so heavy. So we, uh, we just put it on a little slide out um, so it never has to get lifted. And then we've got two islands, which are in this strong blue lacquer. And the islands are sort of this central hub in the space. And the clients refer to them as uh, the twins, Trinidad and Tobago. One that has a breakfast bar and your drinks fridge, and it really is more of like an entertainment area. The other one is really more of a workspace. The islands have a black granite, and then the perimeter counters are done in a terrazzo has a bit of a playful, understated quality to it. And then we've thrown in some walnut to warm it all up and bring back some of the naturalistic qualities of its location. We wanted a table big enough to hold the space. However, we needed a little bit of flexibility in case there was a large group of people. So rather than doing one long table, the dining table is actually two tables, which splits apart down the center, two bases, which also make reference to the linear slatting that you see down the main hall. And over the dining table, we have these wood veneered light fixtures, which pull this warmth up. They're almost reminiscent of birds. So there's a playfulness, a modernity, and obviously a function. The living area, we reused a lot of the pieces that the client had because they were appropriate. And we tried to bring in some softness, some quiet, with shots of energy, you've got this burnt orange swivel chair, and then through the toss cushions, and especially the Missoni inspired carpet, we have this personality kind of rising up through the calm, but not overpowering. The fireplace is this central dominant feature of the living space. We have this simple black granite surround with this plinth that continues across with some built-ins and storage for the logs. It's a wood-burning fireplace. And we put this little door in so that you could pass the logs from the exterior inside without carrying this large bundle of logs through the house and getting schmutz all over the place. Oh. <laughs> and then I broke a window. <laughs> 
The living room has this wonderful sliding door system divided into three panels that just pulls across and lets there be a connection between the inside and the outside. You can literally just walk right through. If you're entertaining, you know, you have this extended indoor-outdoor space. If you're having dinner at night, you can open the doors and even though you're inside, it feels like you're dining outside. We have this wonderful view of the lake from the exterior living space, which is covered. Again, these wonderful ceiling planes and roof lines that kind of intersect. And even though you're covered, it doesn't feel dark because we have this amazing height. We have a screened in porch, so like a three season room. We took the same material that we were using on the ceiling of the living space and we used it on the wall, applying it in different directions to just give it a bit of personality without overdoing it. I think this indoor-outdoor space, it needs to be embracing, but it also needs to be open enough that you feel like you're outside. As you enter the front hall, to your left is a mudroom, which the clients use most of the time because it's off the garage, which has built-in bench with some storage, your coat closet, and then a powder room, which is quite a special spot. And then on the right of the entry, you have this large window and it leads you to the bedroom wing of the house. The principal suite, you pass through these walnut slats you have this amazing dressing room in walnut and white lacquer and you have this makeup area by a window with a little sink and this magenta carpet. There are definitely these like whimsical, playful elements that make you smile in this house. It softens the modernism, it makes it feel comfortable. The dressing room connects through to the principal ensuite which has a wet room with shower and tub. Then we have our sinks by the windows, which then proceeds through into the bedroom portion, which has your lakefront view and these wonderful windows and great ceiling height. This project is a culmination of so many different people and so many different ideas. Being able to work with the architect, having the clients so involved, it really came through in the finished product. It is comfortable and collaborative. It's just a wonderful home to live in, to entertain. I have been fortunate enough to be invited many times and it made me realize how wonderful this home is and it's why I do what I do.